Hello, the audio file 34 here with a instruct tutorial on how to play Minecraft with an Xbox One controller. Now, it's actually quite simple once you've got it set up, but in order to set it up, it can be intimidating as a mofo, to say the least. So, for starters, let's just close everything. You'll know everything very shortly. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is go to Control Panel. Uh, this is a Windows 8.1, so Windows 7 is pretty similar. So, from there, you need to go to Hardware and Sound and Device Manager. Yes, right. Now once you are here, you will go down to Universal Serial Bus Devices. Oh, and also this would be a good time for you to connect your Xbox One controller to your PC via a hopefully much shorter USB cable than that. Micro, any standard micro USB cable to USB will do the trick. Now, scroll down to the bottom and you will find Universal Serial Bus Devices. Now you want to go and expand that by pressing the little arrow to the left and you won't have control of there. You will most certainly not have control of there. If you do, then, well, you're probably watching this when Microsoft's gotten its finger out of its backside and released some drivers, because this is, in essence, an unofficial driver. Right. So now, scroll up and find other devices. God damn it, this focus is really annoying. Okay, other devices. Then you should see, you won't see this, you'll just see unknown device. And then you will go update driver software. Now, you want to go browse my computer. Let me pick from a list. Now, you'll scroll down to the bottom and you'll find Universal Serial Bus Devices. And then this will come up and you go Win USB Device, Win USB Device. You just go Next, like so. And just press Yes because this is a general driver, meaning it's not designed for any one device. So just go Yes. I'm just going to go No because I already have it installed. Now you can do this with as many controllers as you like, up to 16. Why you would want to have 16 controllers connected to your computer, I haven't the slightest. That many USB ports would be completely out of it. Anyway, now once that, once you've done that, you essentially have the base for the artificial driver, which I will include this folder here, which is a generalization of all the software needed, which is two software, two different bits of software. Right, and that's not it. <laughs> that's it will be called Xbox One. Rename it whatever you'd like. So go on. Once you've done that, you can download this from the link that will be in the description. And you basically have to first start Xbox One driver app. And get, wait, once that's started, you'll have to drag this Minecraft into Joy2Key and it will open via ZAT. And what you would have also noticed is your Xbox One controller would have connected and it will now be glowing. And hopefully did not turn on your Xbox One. Because this has done it so many times to me until I've gotten this to work right. Anyway, one thing that you will see right now, you'll see it that your controller is controlling the mouse. However, at the moment, the triggers, because they are scaled, they have like a scale of 1 through, what is it, 50 or 1 through 100 different pressure points. So you want to go here, onto this bit of software, and go trigger button. And take that box, so that turns the triggers into buttons, which means it's not scaled. Because being scaled can cause all sorts of anarchy when trying to get a 
button mapping piece of software to work. And I've done all the button mapping for you. Feel free to modify it however thy wishes. Anyway, as you can now see, the right analog stick controls the mouse, and the left analog stick, well, controls nothing because that uses ASD dub. Okay. Probably just did something I shouldn't have while I wasn't paying attention. Now, for starters, let's open up Minecraft. Now, this profile is designed for Minecraft. Um, games that na natively support game controllers, you will not need the button mapping software, you'll just need the Xbox One gamepad software. Um, artificial drive. Unofficial drive. Artificial drive. Regardless. Anyway, Minecraft. Beautiful. Titanfall wallpaper. Yes, right. Single player. Let's create new world. Eh, good enough. Create new world. And to show you that there's no um, other USB devices plugged in, like any keyboards, whatever. Bluetooth keyboards, right. Um, just shut that up. And I'll turn off wireless signals, right, yeah. as you can see, standard Minecraft controls, had a little bit of a lag moment there, right, yep, standards, whatever, you know, standard, then you pull out the Xbox One controller, what you should notice is voila, I've got creepers come out. That'll be a real way, bad way to end this instructorial. Yes. Um, everything's working fine. Um, a jumps, double tap if you're in creative mode or whatever. Um, analog stick, double forward, you know, double forward to sprint and all that, just like Xbox 360 edition. Um, y. Opens up inventory. Um, yeah, have to press Y to close it, otherwise, because I can't button map within a button map situation. That made no sense. Regardless, I can't do it. Not with that software, at least. Um, X doesn't do anything because X used to open the crafting menu, which on the PC edition is included in the inventory. So X is a free button, whatever you want to assign that to. Um, B. Um, drop stuff. Got nothing to drop at this point, but yeah, B drop stuff. Um, of course, run analog stick turns the mouse, you know. Um, bumpers change you through everything, just like the Xbox 360 edition, using the scroll wheel. Um, yeah, D pad doesn't really do anything except scroll through the uh, inventory items. Yeah. Um, that's about it. Subscribe for more. The Audio 534, signing out. And I almost forgot. Gotta demonstrate the triggers. Right, the triggers. One handed trigger demonstration. Um, left trigger. I If you had something to place, it would place it. Um, hold up, right trigger. Um, I really need a camera holder. All right. Controller. Trigger. See? And then I just jump down the hole. Where's the hole? Okay. Jump down the hole. Thank you. Okay, I found a cave. And I'll just use the buttons to get to there. Not too far. There we go. And I use the left trigger. Two. Okay, but it's too close. Just tilting upward. Not that much. Okay, right. See there? And yes, beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is the audio file 34 with an instructorial on how to. 
Até lá.